with Mrs. Clark. Glad you to have you guys Hi. come in today. So glad to meet you today. Uh, anything to drink? Uh, water or salt in anybody? Uh, no, sir. We're fine. Thank you, man. All right. Very good. Listen, the reason why I've asked you guys to come in today is that there seems to be a problem with your policy. And not only with your policy, but also seem to be a problem with the claims that you guys have filed. Okay, what's the problem? Well, um, the last update that I have is that the claim can't be completed until the adjuster has completed his part of the claim. And the company can't move forward until he submits his final report. Uh, and then, of course, the company then based their decision on how they're going to move along with the claim based off of his findings. Okay. Um, how long is that going to take, man? Well, that's a very, 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 very good question. Uh, did you guys not know that there is an ongoing fire investigation right now? I made all payments. And I made all payments on time. I understand that. And, and, and I understand that they all made it and they all made on time. And we appreciate you for being a dedicated customer. But do you not understand the fire investigation process? Okay, I understand that there's a process. Do you not understand that I don't have any money? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't have a home. Well, let, let me explain then. Let me explain. Hold on, this hold on. Wait, wait. Uh, yeah. I don't have money. I don't have a just home. Calm down. Just okay, calm down. I, I am let, calm. Let me explain. I yourself. am calm. Well, um, I understand you guys' is frustration. I understand what you're going through right now. But can I ask you a more personal question? Yes, sir. By any chance, do you guys have any family or friends, uh, next door neighbor, or somebody that you guys can stay with in the meantime until we get the loose ends tied up for you? Oh my God. Um, I have a family home in Louisiana. Uh, my younger brother's staying there. Um, I'd have to call him. Okay, all right. See what he has going on. Sounds great. Sounds great. Make arrangements with my job and. <laughs> and and I really apologize about any inconveniences, but at this point, my hands are truly tied. But as I uh, receive more information uh, forthcoming, then I'll make sure that I will update you guys, and then we'll go from there. How does how does that sound? So in the meanwhile, I do have. Uh, card here so just in case you guys have any additional Thank information you guys want to provide or any questions that you guys need to be answered uh, I'm your go-to guy and I'll be handling everything from here on out thank you sir okay appreciate you guys for coming in thank you You looking good, man. No, 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 man. You looking good, boy. I like man. this here, boy. Terry, this is my wife, Julie. Julie, this is my brother, Terry. It's a pleasure to meet you. You have a beautiful home. Oh. Uh, hello, my. Man. You look like you're keeping the house up pretty good, man. I try, man. Let me show you where you're going to be. All mm -hmm. right.
Listen, not tonight. What's the problem? I mean, a husband can't be with his wife. Francis, I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just tired. We're in your family's home. It's just weird, okay? That's just an excuse. It's not the house and it's not my family. You give me this every single time I try to have sex with you, Julie. How it's, so? It's either I don't like this position. My legs are too high. That's too nasty. Like, I'm really getting sick and tired of this shit. Like, every single time I try to have sex with you, there's some type of fucking drama attached to it. Drama? Yes. Are you serious? You putting all this on me? Who the hell else? Because the damn sure ain't me. All right. Sweetheart, when we got married, you were a virgin. I know that and I understand that. But, sweetheart, how do you think either one of us are going to get any experience together if we're not being intimate or having sex to get better? Have you ever stopped, even once, to think why I don't want to have sex all the time? Why our sex life is so bad? Excuse me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. you're right. It is bad. And I know why the hell it's bad. Why is that? Because of you. Me? It's damn sure not me. Bryson, you are not all that. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not all that. No. So, I would say we got some problems. We do. Okay, and I I guess you think I'm the problem? Yes. I never had no fucking excuses before. Maybe I was just being nice. Yeah, that fake and lying bullshit? Yeah, okay. Hello. Hi. How can I help you guys? Good morning, ma'am. I'm Detective Williams, and this is Detective Blanc. Is Mr. Bryson Karkin? Yeah, he's here. Would you guys like to come in for a second? Sure. Thank, Thank you. No problem. Honey, can you come here? Excuse me. Good morning, Detectives. How are y'all today? We're good. How are you? Good. I really hope y'all brought me some good news today. So, do you mind waiting another one for me? Yeah, sure. Good meeting you, Liz. You as well. What can I do for y'all today? Mr. Clark, do you recognize any person no. or, or persons, let me finish, in these photographs? No. Well, how can you be so sure? You hardly looked at the photographs. I'm really sure. I just looked. Well, we have a couple of eyewitnesses who stated that they saw these individuals leave your residence on the day in question. Okay, for the third time, no. I don't recognize anybody from those photos. I don't care if it was the fourth time. You didn't really look at these photos. But I looked, right? My eyes were placed on that paper. Temporarily. Okay, but that's still a look. Whatever you say. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time, and we'll keep in touch. Okay. Well, detectives, I hope next time y'all come and interrupt me in my home to serve me, that y'all do a little police work, you know, maybe have a resolution to this case and just quit wasting my time. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Clarkus. Thank you. you can see yourselves out, please. Let's go, detective. You know, I really don't like that man. The feeling is mutual. We caught him red-handed. There's no escape for him now. He sounds like a guilty man to me. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. <laughs> well, well, well. Will you just look at this? So tell me. What did I do to deserve this pleasure? Money, we got a problem. The Texas want to question me about the house fire. Hmm. Sounds like you got a problem. Does it look like we got a problem right here? Don't look like we got no problems we got. Exactly. Hmm. You were supposed to make it look like an accident, man. So tell me, man. Did the house burn down? Yes, the house was burned down. Well, that bitch is over, man. Dead, mute, point, period. 
I want my fucking money back. <laughs> oh, that's comedy, man. Hey, you know ain't nobody getting no refunds around here, cub. So what I suggest you do is you raise up a body here, man, so we lose our cool. Money, please, dude. Come on. Hey, you heard the man. Now it's time for you to R. Kelly. You know what that mean? That you need to step in the name of love before you get a slug. Okay. Kinfo. What? Really? What, man? Hey, look, you said burn the house down, man. I burnt the house down. I'm not a chemist. You're making me look bad, bro. You know what? You're special. Oh, come on. You bro. can't do shit right, man. Oh. Fuck! It's just a little hot in here, that's all. <laughs> you know what? As a matter of fact, you should take a drink. You look kind of thirsty. 